When did you know you were going to start? Uh, about five minutes to tip. And what was your reaction? I mean, Coach, he, he's kind of vague with it. It's, you know, whoever's up, whoever's turn it is. I just got to go in and be productive, and that's what I tried to do. Has it been, Mark, has it been frustrating for you to play as much minutes as you had up until that point and not score points? And was it kind of a relief off your back to finally get that one in? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Um, obviously, like, I mean, I've seen them be, they've been falling in practice um, and sometimes in bunches. So it's, I knew it was coming. And, you know, my teammates, coaches, are like, man, just let it fly. And so having the green light from the coaches and just the confidence from my teammates, I knew I knew it was going to come. Josh, what is it about Mark that coaches have instilled so much confidence in him to give him so many minutes this this year so far? Uh, Mark's just like a he's, he's like a second coach on the floor. He's steady. He knows all the plays. He knows what he's doing. He has a good control of the team, so he has a good feel of what's going on around everybody. He's like a floor general, like another coach on the floor. Mark, I know the uh, student section. I think at the end was chanting MVP. Was what's the last time you've had? A game like this, and, and what does it kind of mean to you to, to get that support every time you're coming in and out off the court? Yeah, I mean, it's cool being at Reed. They're always the, the rowdies or whatever. They're always great. Um, man, probably since high school at home, I, I think I – I think I had ten at Mississippi State last year, but as far as at home, I've never really, I've never really scored. I don't think more than four or six, something like that. So, um, man, that's great. We really appreciate them coming out and any student support we can get. Obviously, right now is is uh, is well is welcomed. So, Mark, if you uh, go back to this one stretch, you hit the three pointer that tied the game, and then on their trip down, they had the long rebound come out. You kind of punched it toward Savion. Mm -hmm. We just talk about that play, and um, it was obviously a key moment of the basketball game. Those two baskets started that 12-0 run. Yeah, one. It's, uh, it's one of those basketball intricacies is what, is what we call it. Uh, it's just one of those field plays, man. And this just comes from playing a lot and being around the game. It's just I saw save out of the corner of my eye, and um, no one was back. So I just kind of punched it up over the guy, and obviously he take it. He took it and uh, did what he does best, threw it down. You guys didn't go into the locker room at halftime. Has that ever happened to you before, where Coach Lip made you stay on the floor? Uh, no. I think it was helpful because you guys kind of flipped the switch offensively in the second half after a rough shooting first half. Whatever we have to do to play better in the second half, well, I think we'll do. And Buzz is crazy enough to – he'll do that every game if we have to. Josh, how um, frustrating was it out there, uh, especially in that first half? I, mean, I feel like – surely y'all felt like that y'all should be playing better than that. Uh, yeah, it was frustrating, you know, because coming off of the loss from last game, we thought it would come out with um, better energy. But sometimes that's how basketball goes. Even though you want to you, you wanna play, so, play well so bad, sometimes you still – you still not playing well, so we just stuck with it. We just kind of, you know, persevered through all those hard times, and you know, eventually it turned around. I apologize if they asked something. Having to send in a story at the same time, the halftime buzz kept y'all on the court. What was that about? What did he kind of tell y'all? Um, I think him, him keeping us on the court. It wasn't nothing that he planned. I think it was just kind of one of his instincts. He kind of wanted to mix up the flow, because you know, sometimes when you have a bad half and everybody walks to the locker room with their heads down. He just wanted us to stay on the. I guess he wanted to stay on the court and just kind of, you know, not walk back there soaking and just stay there on the court and just kind of talk to us and kind of, you know, get into us on what we need to do better. Mark, what was the message of that talk? Play really, really hard. Yeah. Pretty much it. What do you, What do you? Do y'all notice Buzz over there when y'all are on defense when he's jumping up and down and getting down in defensive positions and doing all that kind of stuff? And what does that do for y'all for your energy? Josh. Uh, yeah. I, I definitely see him jumping up and down. He's yeah, like when, when coaches like that intense, you have no choice but to kind of be the same way or allow it to rub off on you because you just you know it kind of like you know lights a fire on you to kind of get a stop on defense and play harder. Josh, you feel like you had the paint in control because they were having to shoot a lot of three pointers. Uh, it's, it's, it's part of our defense is you want to keep out the paint, but I just try to do do my job and just try and do anything I, I can to help the team win. Couple more. So, what changed from the first half to the second half in terms of offensive execution? Because you guys made a significant amount more of 
field goals in the second half and the first half. What uh, what kind of change? I think uh, I think our pace was better. That's something we talked about. Um, I mean, you can say the word execution, but it, it is execution. And um, I think the biggest thing, though, was we weren't robotic. I think at times, especially even against Gonzaga in, in the first half of the night, we got real robotic. And at halftime, they're like, man, just, just let it out. If you've got a good shot, take it. We trust everyone in here. I mean, we've all been working. So um, just not playing robotic and executing. Anything else? Okay. Thanks, guys. All right, fellas.